Hello friends. Today I will tell you exactly what happens to the eggs which are retrieved out of your body by a process called as oocyte retrieval about which I have already spoken to you and shown you the videos and those are and when they are injected by the carefully selected sperm from your partner what happens to these fertilized eggs in the uh, inside our laboratory for next 5 to 6 days first of all the eggs which are retrieved out of your body are then immediately transferred to a laboratory which is very adjacent to our IVFOP and my embryologist immediately scans these eggs first of all to locate these eggs and then to grade these eggs into mature eggs about depending on the degree of maturity whether they are fully mature that is metaphase 2 or slightly mature or that is metaphase 1 or still earlier than that that is ones which are organic germinal vesicles the fully uh, developed eggs or fully mature eggs known as metaphase 2 eggs are then injected with a, or rather micro manipulated with a spermatozoan which is carefully selected by our embryologist after about 3 to 4 hours of incubation of these eggs into the incubator by a process known as micro manipulation. The inverted microscope and the micro manipulator is the heart of the IVF laboratory. It is the equipment that actually selects and injects or micro manipulates the sperm into your mature egg. In the process known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection, which you will show, which you will see on the video now, the spermatozoan gets magnified to the extent of 400 times the normal look under the simple microscope. However, we have an advanced technique known as intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection or MC, wherein we magnify the sperm 8,000 times uh, than the than which, than one which is seen in the under the simple microscope. That means MC is almost 20 times more magnifying procedure than the XC. We do the procedure as MC for selected cases of male infertility and sometimes in case of female infertility as well. Once this, as you have seen now in the video of XC, once the egg is injected with the sperm, now this egg is called as fertilized egg, also called as in medical language the zygote. This zygote, these eggs, fertilized eggs are then transferred into our incubator and they are incubated at a right temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and a, a very appropriate carbon dioxide tension and other gases of other and the pressure of other gases with the appropriate humidity and in next 18 hours to 20 hours two baby nuclei are formed in this fertilized eggs these are known as pronuclei you will see the in all these stages in the subsequent videos how the fertilized from how the from mature eggs get injected with the spermatozoan then how a pronuclear stage develops and how the embryo develops further at the end of 48 hours the embryo has undergone further division of the cells and the embryo has characteristically uh, uh, obtained about 4 to 5 cells. It has become a 4 to 5 cellular embryo. Thus, as the embryo matures further, at the end of 72 hours, the embryo has about 8 to 10 or sometimes 12 cells also. As the embryo develops further and the, at, the, at the end of the late day 3, the intracellular boundary, the, the boundary between the cells dissolves and it forms a complete mass of uh, cells and these cells as the embryo develops further undergo compaction and a stage of morula forms by which I, I mean there are a number of small small cells about 32 to 64 cells formed in the embryo or sometimes more and this stage typically is seen at the on day 4 this stage is called as the stage of morula formation. With the further advancement in the embryonic development, a small fluid field cavity appears within the embryo on the day 5. This is known as blastocyst cavity and this is the stage is known as early blastocyst stage. The fluid field cavity enlarges uh, gradually and as the fluid field cavity enlarges gradually, the blastocyst expands and is the, at, at the end of the day 5, it is known as a fully expanded blastocyst. A fully expanded blastocyst characteristically has a thin rim of prophyectrodermal cells around it 
and a ball of cells at one end of the blastocyst which is known as inner cell mass which is the future destined baby. Sometimes the embryonic development further uh, proceeds further and in the early day, day 6 or late day 6 the embryo spontaneously on its own hatches out of its covering known as zona pellucida. At our center we typically transfer a day 5 or a day 6 blastocyst into the healthy uterine lining cavity of a woman. This is the standard practice at our center that we transfer single blastocysts so as well as to avoid the complications of twin pregnancy. The surplus embryos, however, are then cryopreserved or stored, also known as frozen, for subsequent use if it is necessary. I hope you have enjoyed our videos of complete development of the retrieval of the mature oocytes from your body to the injection of those oocytes by your sperm by micro manipulation under C or MC to the stage of embryonic development up to day 5 or day 6. However, if you have any questions or doubts, you can write to us or indicate in the map in the box mentioned below or even call me on the number mentioned below and I'll be very glad to um, answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching the video.